sure. Simple nightmares will haunt our protagonist. Dun dun dun. Do, 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 do. Hey, that's a good sign. Um, this button. There we go. Make sure that's. <gasps> Excuse me. <laughs> That's muted. That's what I care about. Can't get OBS back up. <clears throat> All right. Let's do this. Hello, I am the awesome Lars man. Welcome to my world. This is my uh, submission for SGDQ 2021. Uh, Catherine, full body. For Switch. Uh, yeah, which, uh, easy remix. Um, yeah. And then, uh, beat the game. <laughs> I will do my best to explain the little intricacies. Uh, also explain the plot as best I can. Um, this game is rated M. Most, if not all, of that mature theming takes place in the cutscenes, which I can and will skip. If that's a concern. Also, I am recording this submission late at night, because I'm pretty sure this would be in an overnight-esque time slot. Anyway, without further ado, let me make sure I got my timer up set. Uh, easy difficulty remix, and three, two, one, go! Yay! <laughs> Catherine, full body, is a puzzle game, uh, which is also combined with a, I've heard it described as a mix of a dating sim and Friday the 13th. And the puzzle, that is our hero, Vincent Brooks. Yeah. And he has to survive the nightmares. Because if he dies in his dreams, he dies for real. And a whole bunch of other uh, men are finding themselves in these horrible nightmares. As you can see, there's a lot of blocks. And we have these blocks. This is where the remix part comes in. Uh, you can climb the blocks, push the blocks, pull the blocks, hang from the blocks. Uh, also, if they're... Oh, hold. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Uh, physics doesn't really exist in its... Uh, gravity is more of a myth. Oh, hold on. Nice. Oh, uh, yeah, uh... In its most simplest form, you climb to the top of the each level. Yay! Uh, pushing and pulling blocks. This is some cutscene stuff. Essentially, Vincent has been dating his long-term girlfriend, Catherine, spelled with a K. Catherine McBride, that's a dead guy. Um, and he's being non-committal. She's being like, yo... 
how long have we been together? You should propose. I think we should get married. And he's like, oh, I don't know. That's a lot of pressure, and I am a non-committal person. This is the stray sheep, where the dating sim part of the game happens. Uh, Vincent will get text messages, can talk to his friends, drink, all sorts of things. That on screen now is Rin. She is was one of the new things added in full body. Uh, she becomes one of the potential dating person. All right, hold please. If you look down there, uh, that is the law and chaos. Basically, that decides what ending you're going to get. Uh, every decision you make will um, move the meter in one direction or the other. And that's how you end up with... Oh, hold. Just texting my girlfriend. Send the message. Nice. Now Catherine's going to call, and you do not want to pick up. You let it go to voicemail. Uh, this is the only... Um, hold. This is the only stray sheep area where you... Oh, do not save. That you have to take part in. Everything else, right when you get here, you can leave the bar and move on. <laughs> Excuse me. Anyway... In this cutscene, Vincent uh, hears the voice of someone. We'll meet her later. And he stays drinking. And at this point now, he's asleep in the nightmare phase. Also, these are other people. We got Kitty Cat, Eric, and Spooky. They are playing this game. And there's Kitty. It also says how many people died. Uh, nobody has died tonight. Always a good. <laughs> anyway, we're back. If you look at this new type of block, they will crumble. <laughs> you can spider climb when you do things, as you can see. Vincent has an incredible grip strength, is what I'm trying to say. Do, do, do. These are coins. They don't really help all that much. They're for increasing your score. Um, as I started saying earlier, the remix part of it involves these blocks with the uh, different colors. Those all move as one unit. Otherwise, every other block just moves one at a time. Do, do. All right. And you made it to the top. Uh, each... Night has different levels in there. And yeah, lots of different levels. Um, skip. Uh, everybody he sees is a sheep. Oh, crap. <laughs> in between every level, there's the confessional. You answer questions, it, uh, mess it uh, adjusts your law and chaos. Uh, good personality. I'm going to be attempting to get the true law ending where he stays with Catherine with the K. They get married. It's beautiful. Uh, you, there is one true chaos. He ends up with someone else. We will meet soon. <laughs> and then there's like pure neutral. Uh, there's an ending where... Spoilers. Uh, there's an ending where Vincent goes into space. Uh, yeah, and then you can see how other people answered. Still nobody's dead in the prison of despair. Do, 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 do. And now we do this. This is an item. Oh, wait. Uh, one of many items. Do, 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 do. Uh, pretty much make a lot of stairs. 
Up we go to the top. I didn't do that one as optimally as I could have. That is a checkpoint. Oh. Do do do. As long as there is a um what's it called? As long as there is an edge as you may have heard, I don't know if you can actually hear it, but as long as there's an edge, the blocks will stay up. Um, in the, in casually, you can talk to everyone. Uh, everyone here that has a noticeable outfit or anything has a, someone in the real world that you can see. Uh, life begins. Yeah. Little angel baby. Anyway. Excuse me. Uh, yeah. The first couple nights worth, there's a lot of tutorial-esque things. Which is fine. <laughs> a lot of skipping. <laughs> do, 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 do. Uh, the final area of each night is a boss escape kind of thing and all of them represent different insecurities of vincent right now it's the doom bride do not die uh the darker gray blocks are super heavy they take twice as long to uh uh pull i think it might be two and a half times as long anyway if you look up here we got a bell uh, the bell is used um, to turn blocks in any blocks into regular blocks. I used the bell at the wrong time. I got excited. Anyways, you can see it takes twice as long to move. Blah, blah, blah. Um, okay, that was weird. The... D uh, I don't know, brown blocks with the face on them? They are immovable. You, you can't do anything to them. That is the face of the bartender. Who we will never see until the very end. Spoilers. <laughs> and we did it. We escaped. And then we skip. Um, essentially, uh, every... There's a bunch of people that have just been dying... In their sleep, oh, slash they wake up dead, I think, it, or they wake up dead. They just don't wake up. Um, after each night, you get memories of Catherine and Vincent, and they're, uh, that's the girl from the bar, and she is in bed with you. Vincent, you horrible person, don't cheat on your partner. Let this be a lesson. Uh, her name is Catherine, spelled with the C can be a little confusing. I hope you're all following. Uh, essentially, he got drunk and wakes up in bed with someone who's not his girlfriend. Rin, that's her name, a few days ago showed up, had amnesia, and has been hired to play the piano at the Stray Sheep. The piano will make more sense in a little bit, I hope. <laughs> uh, night one, she is awful at it. I'm skipping the cutscenes. These are your friends... They, they're your drinking buddies. They talk. They can help the things. Blah, blah, blah. We're just going to leave. We don't care. Oops. Uh, we don't care so much about the social aspect of it for a speed run. Going fast. Uh, when I played this casually, uh, I spend, I want to say, like almost twice as much time in the stray sheep and that, the social aspect of it, because the puzzle... Love the nightmare stages are relatively straightforward. You get into a groove. The other ones, it's fun. You can be a jerk. You can be friendly. You can help people. Uh, each person in the bar has a sheep counterpart. So, like, you can find their backstories. There's so much lore. And we got Gabo, Courtney, and Rome hanging out with us. Any quiz. Stage three is the torture chamber. They have trap blocks is the new one. Uh, this one. They make spikes, and if you stay on them, they will kill you and spike you. Luckily, I am a fast sheep man. Spike, spike, 
Uh, and once they... I did it again. Uh, once they spike, they just become normal blocks. So it's all right. If you see down there, there's a book. That's another item we will see eventually, I think. Come on. <laughs> uh, for what it's worth, I do plan on having someone else here helping me explain. Nice, that's a good gold. Um... Uh, they, I will have a nice cheat sheet for them to explain and answer questions. There's also plenty of time for donations as well, which is always fun. Uh, you didn't see her quick? Well, but we got a piano, and Rin played the piano. And she was helping out, and then she was like, I have to help everyone. So then she goes to the next level. Have you ever made a terrible mistake drunk? <clears throat> Not really, no. I think I've only been drunk the one time. Anyway, these questions open all sorts of donation opportunities. Uh, answer them with the donation. There's a lot of them. Um, the first two are the same, and then the last level of them are the same. But other than that, there are a whole ton of different questions. Some of them are a little more intuitive than others. Uh, like, there's one where, have you ever been cheated on? And if yes, it's on the... Oh. Anyway. It doesn't really affect us too much because on easy mode. And also being as fast as I am. Shameless uh, bragging on that. But, uh, if we were to ever, like, fall behind, the blocks do start to drop. Spike! Why did I do that? All right, wait. Sometimes I do that too fast before the blocks spawn and get stabbed. Anyway, uh, as if the if we take too long and the blocks start to drop, Rin will actually play the piano and stop the falling blocks. Like I said, it's not something we ever see, unless I'm doing something really bad, uh, or just really sucking at the game. Oh, sorry. But that's what that is. Uh, on every landing, Rin will play the piano. From a lore standpoint, it is complicated because A, we don't see her as a sheep, and B, only men are on the landing. Only men have been the ones that are di have been dying. Uh, nothing too big. This, at the, the final confessional of each level up through the seventh i think uh might be eighth anyway there is a question that if you answer them all a specific way you unlock a rin route we're not going to worry about that for this time that's a whole other route uh there's four extra levels you end up with rin at the end we're not going to worry about that for right now we're just good old easy mode any percent also nobody's died in the torture chamber because we're doing great this one is the butt face. That is awful. Anyway, I'm not going to PB. Uh, I know for a fact that I would want to show off the butt face. Because very few people believe the butt face is really a thing. So, uh, you're welcome. <laughs> uh... Do, 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 do. I mean, the music's great, assuming we, it's going to be heard. Uh, uh, da, da, da. And we killed the butt face. Plus three. I wasted three seconds to show you the butt face. You're welcome. <clears throat> Anyway, so flashback to when they were in high school. Basically, Catherine with the K is like a hot commodity, and everyone is wondering why Vincent ends up with her. Uh, anyway, he wakes up again in bed with Catherine with the C, has no memory of it. He is, don't cheat on your partner. Uh, now he's out to lunch with Catherine with the K, and she says she's pregnant. 
This is a very Cliff Notes version of the plot. Um, also, Catherine with the she shows up at the cafe they were at, and Vincent manages to run away from her to avoid that confrontation. <sighs> All right. Um, I think that is the only plot that happens in those for a few days. And now I believe they stopped giving us tutorials. Perfect. All right. Blah, blah, blah. We can save here. That's Lindsay and Martha going home. I'm heading home, everybody. We saw the butt face, and that's what's important. <laughs> um, just got to skip some cutscenes. This one, this level world, whatever you want to call it, I... The Inquisition. <laughs> uh, but Courtney and Yo uh, Yoshizu have been hanging out with us. They've been doing great. Shockingly, not many people play the Switch port of this. It is for PC and PS4. That's uh, what... No one's died in the Inquisition. That's always good to hear. All right. Those are big fat sheep. They're enemies. They get in the way. Uh, those ones just are basically walls. Uh, there are some sheep that actually attack you and can kill you. If you look over to the side, we see a drink. That is an energy drink that we are not going to worry about. I want to say it all. We might worry about it later. I forget exactly. Some of it is just uh, when the randomness sets in. You just got to think on the fly, and sometimes it's helpful. Sometimes it's not. Uh, the bell is the only one that is a for sure that I use. Purple and... All right, I am perfect. No new blocks introduced this level. Uh, we have the enemies introduced, though. If you remember from a previous stage, the book. Is there a cutscene? No, there's not. The book uh, kills all enemies that you can see. That's a cop sheep. Do, 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 do. Uh, the Inquisition is very short. It's just the two levels. Blah, blah, blah. The fifth question. I do care what other people think of me. Anyway, <laughs> um, if you remember from my very fast description of the uh, the cutscenes and the plot that happened during the day side, Catherine said, uh, dropped the bombshell that was, I'm pregnant. So, what do you think is going to be the boss of this world? I could have timed that out a little better. It's a baby! It's a killer baby. Alright, here. A terrifying killer baby. <laughs> I love how just wild the bosses are. Like. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah. I don't. This is fairly straightforward. It's easy mode. A baby is chasing you. Try not to uh, let it catch you. Luckily, uh, it's on easy mode, and I'm good at this game, so it never really gets close. <laughs> Go over here. Do 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 do. Um. Do do do. Also, Vincent is in his underwear. And he's got a pillow. And he's got ram horns. Uh, how about this for a donation incentive? I will do the run in costume. Uh, this is a cutscene. That's my favorite cutscene in the game. Basically, five years ago, right before they started like seeing each other, they remet at a um, high school reunion. Oh, uh, he's in, he wakes up in bed with Catherine with the C again. Don't cheat on your partner. Uh, Catherine with the K shows up at the door and is like, Hey, 
please let me in. And he's like, no, I have a girl here. I, he doesn't actually say that. He lies through his teeth. Don't cheat on your partner. I can't say that enough. Um, anyway, that cutscene was, uh, they had met up for the first time in years and Catherine is very much like giving him the signals like, Hey, we should, uh, we're consenting adults. We should have a little fun. And he's like, what? Like she makes him dinner. It's a full on, she's dressed to kill. She constantly like glances over at her bedroom. And then Vincent's like, Oh, thanks for meeting up. That was great. Well, good night. And then Catherine is like, what is wrong with you? What Don't you, like, am I that undesirable? And Vincent, like most guys, would be like, oh, okay, good. I wanted to make sure you were interested before I put on any moves. Uh, I think it's a silly cutscene. Um, yeah, it's fun. I love watching people's reactions the first time they play it. Especially uh, if they don't play moves like, games like this. <sighs> anyway, this is the quadrangle. The theme is ice, and we got ice blocks. You slide. He also says, whoa, it's cold. Uh, the ice, when you push them on that, uh, the only way to not slide is if you are pulling a block, you don't slide. And if there was no block to stop you, I would go hurtling off the edge. That is where most of my deaths came from, casually, and on higher difficulties. Uh, if we look, there is also more en enemies. Move. And then you can knock them off. These ones are just kind of getting in the way. They're really not that bad, but they're annoying, to say the least. Especially later on. These ones don't really get in the way. They're kind of just programmed to... Nope, come on. Come on, Vincent. They're kind of just programmed to be like, Oh, I'm mildly annoying. Nice. That's a good gold. But yeah, ice. It gets a little stressful as it goes on. On higher difficulties, for sure. Again, I'm pretty used to it. Uh, I forget if I've fully explained what Rin is doing. But she plays the piano, it inspires people, and, uh-oh, that's a big evil sheep. We don't ever see him, I think. My true value. Do you remember every relationship you've ever had? All of them. Uh, Rin plays the piano. In the real world, her piano playing has also gotten better. I skipped those cutscenes because speed. Uh, and also, when Vincent wakes up in the real world, he has no memory of this world. It's kind of iffy if Rin has any memory of this world as well. Anyway, no one's died at the quadrangle either. That's always good to hear. Do, 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 do. Um, items also don't carry over from night to night, so if I got an item that I finished this world with, it would disappear by the first level of the next night. Um, whoa, it's cold. Cold, cold. I'm a Minnesota boy. That was, yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna roll with it. <laughs> Thinking on the fly while talking. That sheep is very cold. Pulling this. Uh, the checkpoints don't really matter. This sheep, will he be nice? No! Rude. Anyway, oh my god. Get out of the way. You can knock, uh, hit the sheep. It doesn't kill them. The only way to kill them is to, uh, use the book, or sometimes they just fall off, or you can push them off anyway. I am perfect. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Look at that. I believe we were on the boss. Um, skip this cutscene. Rin is like, I love you. And Vincent's like, I have a girlfriend and also a mistress. 
both of them named Catherine. Uh, depends on the secret. Doesn't affect the meter. I'll save this uh, Rin route deets for if I do that submission. <laughs> Something to look forward to. Anyway, uh, in the real world, Vincent was like, hey, Catherine, are you sure you're pregnant? Like, you should make double, triple sure. And then she does. She is definitely pregnant and is like, you're going to need to man up and marry me. So, of course, we got the Dooms Bride is the boss. And she's got a fork. It's not all that dissimilar to, um, uh, what's it called? The Fist of Grudge or whatever the first boss was. Do, 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 sorry. With ice, I have to focus. That's just something I do. It's a perfect time for donation. Don't be a fool and go because you will just fall off and waste time. Ask me how I know that. Um, up, up. Oh, it's cold. Oh, it's cold. Do, 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 do. We got the bell coming. Um, pause, skip. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, yeah, the boss design itself is eh, kind of meh. The butt face is really the best one. Also, a few minutes ago, mine out of the gutter. Uh, Vincent falls out of bed, and Rin, who moved into the apartment next door, Come, uh, comes to check on him, and that's when Vincent's like, you know, this Rin girl, she's pretty attractive. Also, I'm old, so I'm not gonna hit on her. And that's when Rin is like, but I love you, Vincent. He's like, oh, that's, I don't want to take advantage of the situation. Also, I'm technically already cheating on my girlfriend. Don't cheat on your partner. I'll be saying that a lot. <laughs> um... Basically, if you've answered the Rin route questions up to this point, I think there's another cutscene. Um, and now we leave. Um, in the bar, Rin's piano playing has been gotten like heavenly. Hint, hint. And he's gotten quite a crowd. And there's a or there's a rumor going around that if you re record it and send it to a certain number of people, it brings you good luck. Kind of like a chain letter style thing. And yeah, then Vincent goes home, goes to sleep, telling everyone he's not gonna cheat again. We got Spooky and Kitty with us here. Uh, X-Panda. X-Panda, always a fun person. <laughs> Now we're at the clock tower. Nobody's died at the clock tower. I believe, yep, and then this world adds the bomb blocks. As you probably saw, you step on them, a fuse gets lit. Oh, come on. I didn't want that. And then they blow up. Um, they will turn regular blocks into uh, damaged blocks. I forget exactly what we called them. Uh, casually, they're terrifying on a speed run. Generally speaking, you make it f too far for... There's an undo button in case you're a fool and you get distracted while explaining things. Um, but that's okay because that's what the undo button is for. You only get a certain number of undos. Um, I think on like harder difficulties, you get like no undos i forget exactly i don't really play the harder ones i like feeling like a good gamer um doo -doo -doo. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. anyway the bombs uh there's two types 
of bombs, I guess strength. That's a big enemy. He's a jerk. He can and will kill you if you give him the chance. Um, do, 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 do. That's not what I wanted to do. Gotta focus, Lars. Come on, get good. There we go. Anyway, um, yeah, generally speaking, the bombs aren't that distressing. It's stressful in a casual playthrough where you try and plan everything out. <laughs> Up we go to the landing. That big sheep with the uh, items. That's what you use the the gold for. You can buy items for a little bit. Do 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 clock tower. What would you do if someone, if you someone you know was cheating on their partner? I would wait. It was cheating. Yeah, I would. Don't cheat on your partner. Do not cheat on your partner. Words of wisdom from the awesome Lars man. If uh, there's one thing. You should, um, if there's one thing to take from this game, do not cheat on your partner. Uh, still no one's died in the clock tower. Do, 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 do. We still got the bomb blocks. Um, if you see what looks, do, 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 do. hold please. Uh, da, 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 da. <clears throat> Uh, we will see the bigger... Here we go. Big bombs. And as you can see, I really don't care as much. Because... We fast. Uh, also, it's easy. Uh, easy mode, I should say. You get into a rhythm. It's also relatively convenient because uh, you pull out the three at a time. The three by one... Um, and then we got this one, which is you got to do one by one. It's a big old waste of time. That's why Remix is superior to Classic. Do, 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 do. Nope, come on. Uh, some of the more Tetris blocks shapes tend to get a little annoying. But you get used to it relatively fast. And then, bum, 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 bum. That last one was just gold, but I hope that's okay. We ignore that. Because why have gold when you can escape? Huh. I golded that one. <clears throat> But yeah, plenty of downtimes for donations. Um, <laughs> uh, this dude is Orlando. He's one of our drinking buddies. Uh, what would you do if you had to compete for the affection? I would try and better myself. I'm not one to sabotage my rival. That just leads to bad things. But yeah, like uh, I said earlier, I don't remember where I heard it, but this is Fri uh, Friday 30th. No, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street combined with a dating sim. <clears throat> Excuse me. But yeah. Do, 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 do. And up we go. We got some ants. I remember ants being a big deal in the original game, but, uh... That's not what I wanted. Don't be dumb, Lars. We were talking about ants. <laughs> got distracted. Got distracted. 
We do have a new block type on this level every time. Um, it's the trampoline blocks. I think they also might be called spring blocks. Uh, this... I call them trampoline blocks because I am a former trampolinist back in the day before I broke my back. Um, will we use a trampoline block, though, on this level is the question. I don't remember. A lot of the levels tend to blur. Sometimes the trampoline block isn't the fastest option. Uh, they can shoot you up, a, I, I think, like six or seven. And sometimes it, it takes... The animation for doing that is just too long. Uh, do, 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 and we made it. I zero zeroed. Apparently that was the best I have ever done that. Good times. <sighs> Any quiz. And I believe this... And that's Johnny, another one of our drinking buddies. And she, that's Steve with the tie. We see a lot of Steve. He's a dentist. And I believe this is the finest. Uh, other people's opinions are the most important thing when making a decision. Clearly. <laughs> Any quiz. Up we go. Anyway, that was the final question for the Rin route. Uh, if you answer all of them correctly, then you get to do that. Anyway, now we have the child with chainsaw. Because why not? Do not die. Do. I'm gonna focus real quick. Read some donations. Lol. This is one of the few levels where the, um. Nope, come on. The, like, fuse of uh, the bomb blocks actually kind of matter. Uh, sometimes you got to do a lot of bomb blocks. Also, now the child with chainsaw is cutting off part of the stage. Bad baby. Oh, the mild shame. Uh, we got some bigger bombs. They do bigger, more explosive. And bum, 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 bum. And now we wait. That's something I tell myself because I've messed that up many times like a fool. Bum, 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 bum. Trampoline! As you can see, it launches you nice and high up. Up we go. Bum. And that is the, uh, Tightest fuse of the bomb blocks. At least, I'm pretty sure it is. Until we get the mystery blocks. Doo -doo. Um, I forget exactly the significance of the chainsaw fact. I think it's just one thing that is just too much for him. Bum, bum, door. Great escape. I survived. And this is the five years ago, after they had been seeing each other for a bit. Um, they've slept together. And Vincent finally is like, will you be my girlfriend? And then it's cute and wonderful. Uh, he wakes up in bed with Catherine with the C again. Don't cheat on your partner please um this is an integral integral uh cutscene 
Come on, skip. Thank you. Uh, for the Rin roots, basically, you find out something about Rin. I'm not going to spoil it, because that is for its own other route. Another time. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, Rin is no longer in the game. We did not choose the Rin route. We are going with one of the Catherines, or himself. I'm actively trying to go for a uh, true law ending. It's fun. It's cute. A uh, lot of stuff happened. I don't really want to spoil that in this submission because now Rin is gone and the Rin route is done. Uh, but yeah, Rin disappears after confessing her love. Because Vincent didn't drop both of his Catherines to be with her. It's a thing. Don't cheat on your partner. Seventh day nightmare. We got Bunny. Um, Godzilla. Anyway. Uh, the lore of the game says that you have to survive a week of nightmares. Spiral Corridor. The Polovetsian dances. Fun fact. When I practice, uh, I start with uh, level 7 to the end because that is where I used to have the most trouble and so that's all I would practice for a while uh, we got some big sheep they can attack each other we're not going to mess with them that sheep can keep that gold yeah the clock tower um, is a pain in the butt casually and when you're new and don't understand a lot they really like having you do like spider crawling and that kind of stuff and give you a lot of stuff you can't a lot of blocks you can't move come on but we speed run and are fast do, 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 do. and here we go this is what i mean if you only have a couple to shoot it's a big waste of time because you can't do it <laughs> All right. I made it. Good job, Vincent. I survived. Um, the... Oh, that's a big evil sheep. They will kill you if you encounter them. Like, full-on axe you. They also get in the way. They're annoying. Would you like to run around naked once in your life? Absolutely not. Maybe. <laughs> um, yeah. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 I forgot what I was talking about beforehand. Uh, the Spiral Corridor is the most puzzle-y. Like, a lot of the earlier ones did a lot of, like, it just, you just climb. These ones are a lot I, more puzzle-y. I'm not really sure how else to phrase it. Uh, nope, come on. Thank you. Do 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 
What a waste of time. All right, up we go. Yeah, the Polovetsian dances. Great song. Uh, easily in the top three songs of this uh, game. There's Steve. Remember that name? Remember that tie? <laughs> we'll see him. Has cheating ever caused a problem in your relationship? No. Don't cheat on your partner. Don't cheat on your partner. <laughs> You'd think it's common sense. Anyway. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Do, do. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that. In the uh, cutscene day world, Vince got a call from someone. I'm sure you'll be able to guess who that could potentially be. Uh, saying, listen, back off Catherine. Catherine is my girlfriend, and you need to back off. And he's like, what? Oh, that's rough. And so he confronts Catherine with the C and is like, hey, your boyfriend called me. And then she's like, nope, I don't know who that is. Maybe it was a different Catherine. Oh, so then he starts uh, wondering about if Catherine with the K is cheating on him, which a bit hypocritical if you ask me, but you know, you do you. <sighs> um, he confronts Catherine with the K and she's like, nope, I don't know anyone by that name. And so then he calls the mysterious threat threatener and is like, yeah, um... Sorry. Uh, he calls the mysterious threatener and is like, yeah, the Catherine I know doesn't know you. Are you sure it's the same one? And he's, they're different Catherines. Uh, the Catherine this other person was talking about is black. And our Catherine with the C is very much not. Hey, Steve. Sure you will. Um, yeah. Do you have a secret you plan to take to the grave? Nope. I'm pretty open. It's funny, I think it's like maybe five seconds to uh, just pick ran like always the right kind of a thing. So, I don't mind. I'm pretty sure being on a Switch, I have slower load times. Excuse me. Oi. Anyway, I think that's all the plot that's happened. I could be wrong. This is what I call the bane of my existence. <laughs> it's took me so long. And now I just quite literally speed through it. Ah. Do 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 do. Yeah. But that's what I mean when I say they're more puzzle focused. It's not so much climb and build your staircase. It's more, okay, this is where the ending is. How far can you get down? Hey, Steve. In case you hadn't guessed, Steve is the person that uh, called us saying he was to, he wanted us to back off Catherine. Do you save money each month? I do. That is a yes. I do. Uh, now we're on the boss level. It is the Shadow Beast. And there's a couple of uh, cutscene-esque moments. Like, I hesitate to call them auto-scrollers. Basically, things that you need to stop and watch. Um. 
do 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 No one's died yet, though. Well done, everybody. There he is. <laughs> Look at that shadow beast. Um, if you notice, we've got other blocks. Oh, oh. Peekaboo! Um, they are black hole blocks, and as you can see, if a block goes on top of them, they will, uh, suck it in and destroy it. And now we hang. Can't escape! Um. Oh, that was, a. Uh, forgot to get the item. Ah, not a huge crisis. Um, the only thing the black holes are good for is they can be used as edges. Oh, dang it. And so, like, they can be used to prop up other blocks. And now it's gonna get dark. The shadow beast living up to the name. I will also accept... Dun, 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 dun. The Phantom of the Opera is there. Uh, they also added ice, because why should anything be easy? <laughs> uh, but once you... You get pretty good at uh, just remembering where everything is. Uh, it can get pretty stressful on higher levels. Luckily, we are good at this game. Anyway, that's a Shadow Beast. Um, spoilers, I'm gonna skip this cutscene. Uh, the Shadow Beast is you. And the Shadow Beast eats Steve. So, we killed Steve. In his sleep, though. Don't worry. Uh, anyway, he wakes up and starts to have memories because he sees a news report about Steve who died. And then he's like, alright, I'm breaking up with Catherine with the C because I'm going to ask Catherine with the K to marry me. Um, he does it. And Catherine with the C literally beats the shit out of him. Uh, don't cheat on your partner. Also, abuse is never okay, even if it's female on male perpetrated. Uh, all of his drinking buddy friends don't witness it. They kind of give him space. Now he's gonna go home, but he basically has convinced. He's convinced that Catherine with the C is no more. They're through, and Catherine with the K, he's gonna ask to marry him. <laughs> He wakes up, not in bed with Catherine with a C. Catherine with the K comes over, and suddenly, Catherine with a C materializes there. Uh, this is where the game gets weird. Because, you know, it's not been weird yet. Uh, Catherine with the C, spoilers, is a succubus. And Catherine with the K kills her, or stabs her. And then when they try to escape, they end up on the nightmare stage together. That's why Vincent's wearing clothes. That's also why uh, Catherine with the K is here. It's a bit of an escort. I will say the AI is way better than in the original game. Still, if you get too far ahead, she will die. Um, yeah, don't cheat on your partner. Especially don't cheat on your partner with a succubus. Didn't think I'd have to say that. Uh, there was it was a it was an intense cutscene. I will say that. Um. But yeah, Catherine with the C is like we're in love, you old hag. Catherine with the K has a meltdown and kills her. So they think. Come on, Catherine. It's hard explaining this game. Because they have the same name. You coming? Let's go. We're almost to the top. Anyway, uh... Come on, come on. You can do it. Once. We're almost there. Oh, please, come on. Almost. Alright. Uh... Now Vincent's like, Catherine, come on. 
we can get out of here together. We're at the cathedral. And then Catherine with the K is like, I don't know what to believe. I can't do this anymore. Vincent throws himself to save Catherine. I'm not going to save. Continue without saving. Um, <clears throat> then Vincent wakes up because it was a nightmare. Catherine with the K comes over and breaks up with Vincent after saying, by the way, I'm not actually pregnant. Also, you're cheating on me with someone with the same name. We're through. I'm blocking your number. And don't cheat on your partner. <sighs> um, it's around this time that Vincent realizes there is no proof Catherine with the C exists. None of his drinking buddies have seen her at all. She, she doesn't have her number or any of the texts that they sent. Nothing. Except the bartender, who we haven't met because we've done none of the stray sheep stuff, is the only one that has interacted with her. It is then revealed... <sighs> Sorry, there's a lot going on. The bartender is behind all of the nightmares. He's got sheep eyes. And Vincent says, one more night. One more night. And if I win, you set everybody free. And there will be no more nightmares. And the bartender's like, ha, huh, idiot. I take your challenge. And now we're on the final night. <clears throat> um, his Their grandmaster plan was any man who's not furthering the human species needs to stop being in a relationship. So the best way of breaking couples up is with a messy affair. Anyway. Logic. Hello, big sheep guy. Running away. Um, these blocks, they're mystery blocks. They can be anything. We also got monster blocks. That's what the teeth are. They are gross. <laughs> Oops, too far. But yeah, they can be anything. Uh, this is where the RNG comes in. The monster blocks, uh, which I think we saw one of the mystery blocks turning into, they move on their own. That is the downside. Um, all right, we're just going to do that. Monster block. Uh, they move on their own. And then... Uh, sometimes. But if you step on them once, then they become normal blocks. Kind of similar to the spike blocks. Except sometimes, they move. Hey, I golded that. Nice. Uh, you'll see a lot more when there's a lot more monster blocks. Monster blocks are the absolute worst. Um, they don't kill you. Uh, if you're hanging on them, they'll, uh, and you haven't made, bit them, then they'll knock you off so you can't, like, spider climb around them. If you're fast, you can do it, but... Oh! We're the final world. This is, uh, where you decide what ending you're gonna get. I am going for true law, so we're gonna end up... We get married, hopefully. That's the hope. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. That could also be a donation incentive. Maybe people care. We got Catherine, Catherine, or Vincent. <clears throat> the Vincent one requires a little more thinking because you gotta make sure you don't get too lean too heavily in one direction. Uh, the final stage, the Imperio. But yeah, look at the teeth. Oh, uh, yep, you see the monster blocks? They will sometimes move, is the best way to describe it. It's almost never convenient. Trampoline, going up, but you can step on them and they'll bite themselves. Oops. Do, 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 do. 
we're gonna do that because the scary axe sheep are scary. Pull the T. Huh. We're gonna get that. Oh, no, come on. Now we've killed them. That is the only time we use that power up. Oh, nice. Usually sometimes they move. Ah, uh, yeah. There we go. That is what we like to call a rare convenient one. Okay. Actually, this is pretty convenient. Gonna do that. I don't trust them. Crunch. Sometimes they'll just move and die. Ha! Ah, 30 second gold. 34 second gold. Not bad. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, the Imperio is where runs go to die. <laughs> That's where RNG is the absolute worst. It's frustrating, to say the least. Anyway, um, I wish for a peaceful life. Yes, I do. Do, 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 do. Anyway. Do, 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 do. Um, yeah, we're getting towards the end. Uh. We've seen all of the block types, I believe. Oh, crap. Nope. Nope. Come on. It is kind of funny, like, on easy mode. It's very simple. And there are times when I was, uh, I guess, learning the route and overthinking things because that's just what you do. Oh, what am I doing? Um, if it seems too easy, it might be. Or just the right amount of easy. <laughs> this is easy mode. Uh, but at the same time, it is still fun. And it is... There's a lot that can go wrong. We got ice now. Gonna go fast. That's right. Pull this one. I love, uh, like, showing my friends and family and my uh, followers. Um, get off. People that don't know this game, just... I, I love just the um, look of I don't know what I'm looking at. I've been trying to get... I, I always recommend this game. Okay, get this... Sorry, gotta focus. Another gold. <laughs> nice. I should also add, I don't know if that would be a little uh, too risque, but there is something that was added in uh, full body. They're the horn rim glasses, basically in the bar. You can put them on, and every, you can see everybody in their underwear. I do not wish for the excitement of chaos. Just saying, that is a possibility. Uh, throw that, throw those on. Um, it really wouldn't be featured that much. Uh, we're only really in the bar itself for a little bit in between things. And it's mostly his drinking buddies, so it's not like it would be too risque just dudes in their underwear um but yeah adding like i don't know a minute or so yeah the music is great hello teeth 
Spike, spike. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Do, do. Do, 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 do. Come. Nope, come on. Sometimes I little, I get a little excited. I want, nope, come on. And sometimes it does, oh my goodness. It doesn't completely register the button presses. Only sometimes though. Yeah, um, Spike. What am I doing? Come on. I will say it's amazing what practice can do for a game. Oh my goodness, come on. Sweet. Uh, we're gonna do the weenie strats and just kill you. Nope. We're gonna do that. Okay. Push. Yeah, casually, the mystery blocks are a lot more stressful. Anyway, uh, black holes. Be very careful. Um, I like to do that blindfolded sometimes. Or like with my eyes closed. Oh, I lost my gold streak. Ah, well. It's all good. <clears throat> I'm still alive. I believe now we get to have a good old got boss fight with Thomas Mutton, the bartender. Blah, 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 blah. Are you prepared to live peacefully forever? Heck yes. I understand Thomas Mutton. Hmm. Excuse me. Well, uh, I will say, I was a little worried I wouldn't have stuff to talk about during it, but I managed to fill the time. That's pretty fun. No one's died. Ready to see him? Look at him. Look, there's Thomas Mutton. He's got his big gun. He's got the sheep. Oh. Uh, oh, nope. Uh, fun fact. Some of the bosses, uh, I want this one. The bosses, when they attack you, if you just undo, it's like they never attacked you. Which is a pro tip from the Awesome Lars Man. If for some reason you are having trouble on a game that very few people asked for. I'm not going to say no one asked for. Because I... This... Catherine uh, is one of my favorite games. Come on. Yeah, he will turn blocks into different things. Chomp. All right, doing this. Nope, up. I will say, when I found out that you could do that, and there were, okay, nope, come on. And it let you do that, it was like, oh man. Undo. Okay, you're making me look bad, mutton. I want to go this way. Come on. Yeah, there's some... Oh, see, there you go. The monster blocks being jerks. 
climbing up. If you look on the side of the screen, which I probably could have mentioned earlier, it shows how the little pink is what... Oh my god. Climb up Vincent where Vincent is. Now we wait. Because if you pull too soon, they drop. Oh, we gold it again. Basically, 9-4 is my worst of the Imperio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It can't be. <laughs> do, 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 do. We. All right. We are on the final level. There's not even a confession. Uh, this. Earlier on in the Imperia, we found out that he also goes by Dumazid. He became a god because. Sir Thomas Mutton, the bartender, was the original person to completely scale the tower. There's some continuity story bits that make you go, hmm. But. We're not going to worry about them. Nobody has died. Ready for the best song in the game? Revolu and there's there he is. <laughs> Big scary man. Oh, crap. A lot of trampolines. Um, do 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 um, I don't know if anyone has ever seen Scooby-Doo Meets the Boo Brothers, also known as the best Scooby-Doo movie, Fight Me. Um, there's a wonderful scene where Shrieko... Ooh. Oh, no, we're good. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, he curses you, and then whenever you pull blocks, they turn into other things. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna do this because why it might as well. Anyway, Shriko plays the piano and he plays this song and it's amazing. Uh, but yeah. Okay. Uh, we're gonna do this. Thank you. So, I will say the monster box are cooperating and I appreciate that. Come on. Um, monster blocks moved. That was really annoying. Okay, we're gonna get this. And then we're gonna trampoline up here. And then we're gonna do this. We're gonna waste time doing a heavy block. Oh man. We were doing so good, and then Monster Blocks messed with us. I'm sorry. You know what? Never a dull moment. That's the RNG for you. Ah, <sighs> alas. Also, uh, now we've got to this part. Fun fact, you can go too fast, fall back behind it. Crunching all sorts of Monster Blocks. Nope, come on. Woohoo! Bomb. Do, 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 do. Push that away because I'm a weenie. <sighs> like I said, they uh, take a. They are s slow to move. Alright, pull that. Push, I lied. Come on, mate, let me undo. There we go. Okay. Man, this was a great run. And then we got to the end. <laughs> eh. That's uh, part of the game. That's just Catherine for you. We're going to push that over there. B 
because I don't want to deal with that. We're going to pull that. Push that over. Nope. All right, we're good. We're good. No crisis. What? Who said crisis? Uh, we got some, if you look to the side, we've got the black holes that are just kind of chilling because they all make... Oh, whoops. Oh, I could have... We're just going to do that. We're almost to the end. Do 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 do. Oh, but yeah, every time you pull when you're cursed, certain blocks change and we're done. Hour <laughs> 1808. That was an awful final, but Oh, that w is Catherine Full Body Easy Remix. Look at him. He made it up top. Oof. Yeah. Hour 1808 with some pretty standard RNG. I did pretty good. Um, showing off the butt face is always fun. But yeah, it's a uh, high energy. Excuse me. I burped. And I think it's fun to watch. It's not a super long one. Uh, if you look, his beard is made of sheep. And how can you say no to that? <laughs> um, the endings I did. He ends up with... He marries Catherine with the K. Long-term girlfriend. Um, there's a speech about giving people the choice. And we're going to skip it because it was a great escape. I survived. Yay. That was fun. Vincent wakes up. Everything is okay. Skip to prove he gets married. Um, yeah, that's Catherine full body. I think it would be fun to watch. And there you go, getting married at the bar like the classy couple they are. But yeah. That's my submission. Awesome Lars, man. Check me out. <laughs> Alright. And then the credits. Good times. Yeah. Do 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 do. I don't think I missed any of this plot. And skip. And for funsies, we've got some Polaroids of their wedding and their married life. Oh, I love that cake. I want to make that cake. Throw in the uh, bouquet. Look at them. Happily married. Don't cheat on your partner. Wait for it. Yo, congrats, man. All right. Sure Keep the bride happy. Finn. There it is. All right, I'm done now. Uh, I can ramble for hours about this game, just trying to explain the plot. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'd have some a good couch to do that. And, yeah. Thank you, and I look forward to, at the very least, watching. <laughs> All right. Lars out. I wonder if I actually had any viewers. All right, we're gonna s also.